This week, the Israeli government approved a controversial law that will allow authorities to force feed Palestinian prisoners on hunger strikes. Now, the new measure has been denounced by locals and international organizations. For more now, we go to our correspondent, Noor Harazi. In a move that could further anger the Palestinian people, the Israeli Knesset on Friday passed the so-called law to prevent harm of hunger strike, allowing the forced feeding of prisoners. The Palestinian Center for Human Rights described the move as essentially legalizing torture and a challenge to all international warnings to the Israeli side against its passage. They called upon the international community to go beyond denouncing the law and immediately acting to stop its implementation. This force feeding law is part of other criminal laws previously approved by the Israeli government against the Palestinian prisoners. It aims to deprive them from the simplest rights of 1. Defending themselves according to all the international laws and legitimacies. 2. Going on hunger strikes in attempt to get their rights that are supposed to be available during their imprisonment. Of course, this law is a silent killer of the Palestinian prisoner. In the 1980s, three prisoners were killed by force feeding. The Israeli allegations that this law saves the lives of Palestinian prisoners are funny. Israel is doing its best to kill them. For many Palestinians, the year 2012 will go down in history as the year in which the prisoners' struggle achieved many victories for the Palestinian cause. The wheels were set in motion with a mass hunger strike in fall 2011 and the release of more than 1,000 prisoners as a result of the prisoner swap deal. In 2012, Samir Laysawi led an inspiring and record-breaking hunger strike that succeeded in forcing Israeli authorities to give in to his demands. A Sawi non-violent victory has led dozens of Palestinian prisoners to trying hunger striking as means to achieve their goals. But with this newly approved force feeding law, their chances of victory and survival might be very low. Nur Harazin, TV, Gaza.